Jandelia Johnson's family took Claudia Banton in when she was in need. So why would she pull the trigger and kill a longtime friend? Claudia Banton had nothing to say as she was let out of the 77th Precinct Station House in Crown Heights. She'd been on the run since August when prosecutors say she pulled up outside this building on Franklin Avenue, double parked, and casually walked over to Delia Johnson and shot her execution style in the head. Delia's mother told News 4 after the shooting. We have to pray for the person that did this. Pray for their family. Because I live in peace, me. But I do want to know why if I ever see it. Neither the statements in court nor the indictment will give Delia's families the answers they seek. Banton's attorney entered a plea of not guilty as prosecutors laid out the case against her. They say she was pulled over 20 minutes after the shooting, but police released her because they didn't realize the suspect they were looking for was a female. Delia's mother spoke after the hearing. I just don't understand. It's a hard road. It's very hard. Prosecutors say Banton had been hiding out in Jacksonville, Florida, and was arrested there earlier this month. She has an extensive criminal history in New Jersey and Georgia, serving seven and a half years in prison there on a forgery charge. Banton is a longtime family friend. Delia's mother says she helped raise her and can't understand how this could happen. You see somebody you had your hand in raising? that took your, up, took my baby. I just don't understand it. I just don't. I just got to keep praying because that's all I can do. Banton faces 25 years to life behind bars. If convicted, she returns to court in January. And that's where we're live. I'm Miles Miller, News 4 New York. Jen, back to you. Unbelievable.